Na mshukuru Mungu aliye tulinda waka mzima eh eh ametupa neema ya kuishi duniani ametulinda na ajali zote walio warembo kutuzidi wametoweka walio matajiri kuliko sisi wametoweka Walio kuwa na vyo vyo ku Wameto wake up hey. Ushukuru mungu Ungali muzima Happy day, happy day Happy day to you Happy day oh Happy day to me Happy day, happy day Happy day to you Happy day oh Happy day to me Happy day, happy day, happy day, 
to me. Happy day, happy day, happy day to you. Happy day, oh, happy day to me. Happy day, happy day, happy day to you. Happy day, oh, happy day to me. Maybe you can see my yo. Tutasimama wima wakati watakuwa wanaingia ndio tunaweza tukaanza. Okay brother we can start.
mind But for now that is fine Cause I'm already there I'm already there It may take some time Well, we've all gathered here this morning to join Banga and Mayombi in the holy wedlock. It's a very reverent thing in the sight of God. Marriage was instituted by God. So it should be entered into with much prayer. A couple that prays together stays together. So before we join them in wedlock, Kabla atuja ingilia hilo, I would like to ask a question. Nina kuenda kuuliza swali. Benga? Benga? Wilt thou have Bayombi to be thy wedded wife? Unaitaji kuwa na maombi kuwa mke wako wa maisha? To live together... To live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony. Wilt thou love her? 
comfort her utakwenda kumfariji honor and keep her utamheshimu na kumtunza in sickness and in health katika magonjwa ama katika hali nzuri afya and forsaking all others na kuachana na wengine wote keep the only under her na kumkuwa na yeye peke yake so long as you both shall live na hivyo wanyinyi wawili wote muishi pamoja ndio amen amen We like we like to ask the bride the same. Tutakwenda kumuliza bibi harusi hivyo hivyo kwa sababu ana sauti ndogo acha nimpe microphone. Maombi. Dada maombi. Will thou have Benga to be thy wedded husband? Unakubali kuwa na ndugu Benga kuwa mume wako wa ndoa? Ndiyo. Amen. To live together after God's ordinance kuishi pamoja kulingana na amri ya Mungu in the holy state of matrimony na katika ushirika takatifu wa muungano will thou obey him utakwenda kumheshimu and serve him na kwenda kumtumikia love honor and keep him kumpenda na kwenda kumtii na kuwa naye maisha ni mwako mote in sickness and in health katika hali ya magonjwa ama katika afya forsaking all others na kuachana na wengine wote keep the only unto him ili upate kuwa na yeye tu peke yake so long as you both shall live ili katika muda wote mtakao uishi pamoja ndio amen who giveth this woman nani atakuja kumgabizi dada kwa ndugu kwa sababu taratibu inabidi hakwenda kumwiba amemchukua adharani mchana na kama amemchukua mchana ni nani atakuja kumgabizi dada kwa ndugu ili wabarikiwe kuwa mme wake wa ndoa ni nani to be married to this man Wewe ndio unataka kumpa yeye ili apate kuolewa na mtu huyu Yes ishara ya kwamba ndugu wa kuiba bali amepewa mchana kutwa. Amen. I'd like to say a few words to each of you. Nataka kuzungumza maneno madogo tu kati yenu. Kama mnaweza mkanitizama huko. Okay. In the Holy Scriptures katika maandiko takatifu in Matthew 19 katika Mathayo 19 the fourth and fifth verse katika verse yake ya 4 na ya 5 Jesus speaking Yesu akinena have you not read haikuandikwa that he made them at the beginning made them male and female na aliwafanya hivyo tangu hapo mwanzo kuwa moja wa kike mwingine wa kiume and said for this cause na akasema kwa kusudi ya masababu hii shall a man leave his father and mother mume ataachana na baba na mama yake and shall cleave to his wife na atakwenda kuambatana na mkewe and they too na wote hawa wawili shall be one flesh watakuwa ni mwili mmoja amen amen that's what makes marriage so special na ndio hicho inachofanya ndoa kuwa kitu cha kipekee cuz from this time forward kwa sababu kwa muda huu tunao kwenda nao you're never alone hamtakuwa au utakuwa tena peke yako in fact you become 
not two people mnakuwa sio watu wawili tena but one person lakini mnakuwa ni mtu mmoja with one united personality katika muungano wa utu mmoja and you never have to worry na usiogope kamwe you always have somebody utakuwa tu na mtu fulani to talk it over with ambao atakuwa kila siku anazungumza na wewe tu to pray for one another ambao mtakuwa mnaombeana mmoja kwa mwingine to share your advice mtakuwa mnadhungumza kwa kusaidiana mawazo au mashauri so no one looks at you anymore hakuna tena mtu atakao kutupia jicho tena as individually single kama vile mtu ambaye yuko pekee they look at you now as one watakwenda kuwatizama kama nyinyi wawili kama mtu mmoja sasa and every time they think of you benga na wakati mtu mmoja ama yeyote atakaofikiria juu ya wewe benga they'll think about my mombi mmoja kwa mmoja anafikiria juu ya maombi and the same na vile vile they'll always think of you together na watafikiria kwa ajili yenu kwa pamoja sababu ni mtu mmoja sasa so when they talk about me and my wife na wakati wanapozungumza kuhusu mimi na mke wangu they say david and leslie wanasema daudi na leslie because now you're considered united kwa sababu mnalinganishwa leo mmeunganishwa kuwa mtu mmoja in the sight of god katika uso wa Mungu and so i'd like to uh, ask you now nitakwenda kuwauliza sasa if you would face one another kama mnaweza mkaangaliana mmoja kwa mwingine repeat after me utakwenda kurudilia hii baada ya mimi kuyatamka i benga mimi benga mimi benga take the myombi ninamchukua maombi ninamchukua biaombe biaombe to be my wedded wife kuwa mke wangu wa ndoa kuwa kuwa mke wangu wa ndoa to have and to hold ku kuwa naye katika from this day forward katika siku hii hadi kuendelea kuwa naye katika siku hii hadi kuendelea for better for worse katika hali nzuri au mbaya katika hali nzuri au mbaya for richer for poorer katika umaskini ama utajiri katika utaji katika umaskini au utajiri and sickness and in health katika magonjwa au katika afya nzuri katika magonjwa au katika afya nzuri to love and to cherish kumpenda na kwenda ku kumtunza kumpenda na kwenda kumtunza till de- death do us part mpaka kifo kitu tenganishe mpaka kifo kitu tenganishe according to the- according to god's holy word kulingana na neno takatifu la mungu kulingana na neno takatifu la mungu Sister repeat after me. Dada pia utarudilia baada yangu. I beombe. Mimi biaombe. Mimi biaombe. Take the benga. Ninamkubali benga. Ninamkubali benga. To be my wedded husband. Kuwa mme wangu wa ndoa. Kuwa mme wangu wa ndoa. To have and to hold from this day forward. Kuwa naye katika maisha yangu yote kuanzia leo hadi tunapokwenda huko for better for worse katika hali nzuri ama mbaya katika hali nzuri ama mbaya for richer for poor katika umaskini ama katika utajiri ama umaskini katika utajiri au umaskini in sickness and in health katika magonjwa ama katika afya nzuri katika magonjwa au afya nzuri to love ni mpende ni mpende to cherish and to obey nipate kumheshimu nipate kumtii na kumheshimu nipate kumtii na kumheshimu till death do us part ili kifo kitutenganishe according to god's holy word ili kifo kitutenganishe kulingana na neno la Mungu kulingana na neno la Mungu Do you 
you have a ring? Kuna upete? Give it to him. Is that her ring? Okay, this is the wedding band, but that's fine. All right, we just ask the Lord to bless this ring. Okay, repeat after me. Your hand here. Okay. With this ring, Kupitia Petehi, Kupitia Petehi, I thee wed. Kwa hivyo nime hoda. Kwa hivyo nime oza. And with all my worldly goods, na katika utu wangu wote ni amzuri. Na katika utu wangu wote au ni amzuri. I give to you. Nina kupa hiyo wewe. Nina kupa hiyo wewe. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Katika jina takatifu la bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Katika jina takatifu la bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Our gracious heavenly Father, we ask you to bless this ring. Father, as we know the circle represents the eternal unbroken love. We ask you to bless it. In Jesus' name. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Okay. Repeat after me. Utarudilia hii bada ya mimi. With this ring. Kupitia pete hii. Kupitia pete hii. I thee wed. Kwa hivyo nimekuenda kuodha. Kuodhwa. And with all my worldly goods. Katika isia yangu yote na utambulifu wangu yote. I give to you. Katika isia yangu yote na utambulifu wangu yote. Nina kupa wewe. Nime kupa wewe. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Katika jina la bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Katika jina la bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Amen. Kwa hivyo tamvika. Let's ask a blessing. Our Heavenly Father, our precious Lord Jesus, we ask you to anoint this couple. Father, may they be fruitful and multiply. May, you, may they prosper and be in good health. May they always serve you. May they be a wonderful example Amen. of a couple in love. Father, may their love grow Amen. and never become old. May their, may their hearts beat as one from this day forward in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Amen. For so much as Benga and Biombi kwa kuwa na Benga hapa na Mahombi have Biombi have consented together in holy wedlock. Ambao wameunganishwa pamoja katika upendo katika ndoa takatifu. 
and have witnessed the same before God. Na wanakuwa na ushuhuda wa maushahidi huo ile ile mbele ya Mungu. And this company na pamoja na watu wote hapa waliohudhuria and here too have given and pledged their hearts each to the other na hivyo wamesameana na kufurahiana moyo mmoja kwa mwingine and have declared the same na wanakwenda walikwenda kutamka maneno yale yale wote wawili by giving and receiving rings na kwa ishara ya kupehana na kupokea upete and by joining hands na kwa kwenda kuweka mikono yao pamoja I pronounce kwa hivyo ninatamka that they are man and wife kwa hivyo ni mke na mme and this is the part that Benga has been waiting for na hii ndio sehemu ambayo Benga alikuwa na anaisubiria you may kiss the bride tunaweza kumshika busu In one second you can scream to your heart's content. Kwa hivyo kwa sekunde moja unaweza toka huka ukafanye vyovyote vile kwa furaha. First of all, na kwa hivyo kwanza I deem it to have the privilege nina ninashukuru kupata nafasi ya upekee to introduce to you for the first time kwa kwenda kuwatambulisha kwa mara ya kwanza Mr and Mrs mme na mke brother and sister ndugu na dada benga kilozo benga kilozo yani dada amebadili jina na kuwa benga sasa jaombe
Je ma dette, je l'aime de tout mon cœur. Oh, béni soit son nom. Amen. Dans les dénominations et dans les traditions, Jésus, mon divin roi, envoyé sa parole pour éclairer ma vie. Oh, béni soit son nom. Amen. Thank you. 